Hello Composers, Mike here and you are watching Studio Time with Mike and in this episode you will watch behind the scenes as I compose a brand new ambient music composition from scratch. So let's dive into the DAW right now. So here are my 7 top tips that I want to share with you on composing and producing ambient music. So again, these are not rules, just a couple of guidelines for you. First, I usually focus on soundscapes and atmospheric textures uh, for ambient music, which can be rain, wind, the breeze of the wind, the, the sound of the sea, um, and so on. And it can, of course, be synthesized uh, soundscapes and textures as well, but basically these background sounds that really set the mood but doesn't have any harmonic or tonal quality to it. The second one is drones and pads, which are similar to soundscapes but they have a tonal quality, meaning that you can play notes with them. And with drones it's usually just one single note uh, at the lower range that uh, is basically like a pedal note meaning that it holds for a long time during the composition. And pads are these soft carpets of sounds that really adds a... like a soundscape, but a harmonic soundscape. Three is depth and space, meaning lots and deep reverb it goes really well with ambient music. Four is using long notes for chords, for example. If you use chords, you can have them sustain a m much longer time than usual. And the same goes for, well, I don't, I, I would avoid actually writing real melodies in ambient music unless you use really long notes. Five is minimal rhythm, basically no percussion and no like ostinatos and perhaps a slow pulse or something, but really minimal on the rhythmic focus in ambient music. And then six round sounds. What do I mean by that? Well, basically, if you think about uh, an edge, you can uh, have a sharp edge and you can polish it um, to have like a round edge. And that is what you want to do in ambient music. So no really sharp synth sound or even uh, I would even avoid sharp plucky sounds. Just round them off. Uh, we can do this with adding some attack with an ADSR envelope, um, filtering out the high end, the sharp uh, high end, and so on. And seven is, of course, slow tempo. <laughs> it's, you, yeah, it's basically the fundamental of uh, ambient music. You really need to go with a super slow tempo. So those are my seven tips. Now let's dive into the DAW, and I will actually start composing a new track from scratch, and you will see some of my creative process as I do so. Alright, so here we are in the DAW and um, as you can see I have imported a video track because I created these, I make these music videos from my compositions and uh, I like to use them as the inspiration so I actually create the visual footage first and I even title the track first so if I open this up you can see that this is the video that I will use as inspiration, and the track is called The Magic Ocean Above. So this is the inspiration. Uh, now, as you can see, I've had my story folder, which I use to sketch my compositions. Then I have percussion, rhythm, bass, harmony, melody, ambience, effects, and shimmer. And obviously for an ambient track, the ambience group will be the main focal point. So let's dive in here and see if we can find something. Let me just update the screen set. I have, for example, Alchemy here. Let's load that up and see if we can find a cool soundscape or something to start with. Let's see, I'm just gonna adjust my chair. Alright, so what shall we do? Which key should we be in? Like B? B flat perhaps? That was kind of a cool sound, and um, I'm just gonna go with uh, just gonna go with that for now. I think so. Let's just add. 
Let's just add that. Um, and then uh, you can't see my second screen, but I have the piano roll here over at the second screen. Uh, in fact, let's open it up so you can see. I'm going to make those into complete uh, like so. Then cut here and there. And perhaps I'm going to extend this. Let's do eight bars of B flat. This is how I usually think about. Let's, if, if, in fact, let's move up that an oct. No, let's use like a droney sound. Oh, by the way, we are going to go with like 70 for tempo. Nice, nice, nice. Um, let's try some kinetic movement. And uh, let's see if we can. Why isn't it like so? So I'm going to... No! Sorry about that. Suspend content connection. Um, for this, right now, it's only... B flat. And um, should I do some harmony here? Let's see what we could do, like a pad. I'm not sure if I'm going to go with full chords or just. Let's see. Is this cool? Should we go with major or minor? Just gonna do a harmony here. Like so, and then I'm gonna see here if we can... I, I forgot this because I work with dual screen, so I don't really use piano roll over here. But anyway, let's quantize that. And um, I think I have some quantized note lengths to quantize no note lengths. Like so, so you can see the note lengths are quantized and then I think we'll close. Let's close up that for now. Still in B flat. I think this is a bit too loud. Let's reduce that to minus six and let's carve out some space for it. Um, I'm gonna reduce some of the presence in it, or a lot, in fact. Let's solve this. I think it's too much in the bass too, because I want to add another drone there. Something like that. Yep. And now we both. All right. In fact, I'm gonna go with real strings here instead for this. Takes a, quite a while to load and then I'm gonna update that so we see. Should I perhaps remove the drone sound here? I think I will. Let's see. Let's go up an octave. Okay, what what the let's go on. So if you if you check this, it's very, very long notes. And I changed my mind. I don't want full strings. 
let's in fact copy this and go to some like a Soltasto instead. I just want that super soft vibe and um, delete that for now. Close that. Let's see. But as you can hear now, we're super soft. And I'm going to add some modulation to this. Uh, well, I, 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 I have to be honest. I, I'm, I'm going to work with my second screen. So when I click this, I have the piano roll here. I can't record both screens at the same time, but I will explain the process anyway. So uh, I'm going to add some modulation to this. Just to have some movement into the sound. Like so. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna move up. No, what, what, what does it do? Like so. Like so. So I get some movement. What do we have? No, oh, I'm gonna move it up an octave. And let's see if we open up this plugin. We have far and close. I don't want the close. I'm just going to go with the far mic. Let's see what that sounds like. Oh, that's soft. I'm going to go with the mid to. All right. Since that is so soft, I'm going to mimic it, um, perhaps, with, uh, and by the way, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this, this too, to copy it here, Kinetic, which is a very subtle, uh, atmospheric textured kind of sound. So I'm gonna remove one note, so I just have that there. Let's update this. So what do we have now? And by the way, what is this? Um, should I do something with Omnisphere here? Yep, so that will mimic this. So now we have... Let's bring up the visuals. Right, um, I'm gonna go with the bass here, and I'm gonna go with the low pad bass, which is super, super soft. Load it up, and it's going to be only, let's see, just the low. It says A sharp, but B flat, basically. So we have. We want that depth uh, in the low end. Let's reduce that, but I think I'm going to stick it up there. No percussion, no rhythm, but perhaps some woodwinds. But I'm thinking about doing some woodwinds with a synthesizer. In fact, let's use Omnisphere, so duplicate that. This is not going to be an orchestral track in that sense, but actually some kind of, let's, let's go, let's go to the patch browser and see if we can find like flute type tones. Um, flutes and winds, fluty colors. What's this? Mm, yeah, I don't know. Okay, so why is it so low now? I'm gonna check if I have very low here. Hmm, let's try something. That's very... Uh, in fact, I'm gonna move that over to Shimmer, because it's a very shimmery sound. 
like to have this for mixing purposes. Too fast. So that's eight bars here. Uh, let's quantize them and let's see. I'm gonna quantize them to quantize note lengths. Great. Now, um, get over here, get over there. What did I use for? Oh, yeah, just like so. Cut it up and now let's do like so. So, wait a minute. Oh, yeah. I'm going to color this the same as these ones, I think. Like a bluish color. So now we have some low pads, some atmosphere pads, kinetic motion, alchemy for the drone part, so touch the strings or violins for the high part, plus a shimmering fluty kind of vibe. I like that. Um, perhaps some more movement here inside. Um, we have some modulation. I should think I'm going to row it so it will have more audible movement and uh, some in expression too. So we have like starting at 100 perhaps and going. No, the opposite. Oops. Just to have some movement. Like so. So what's next? What's next? Um, I think that's a cool section. Shall we just keep the key? Let's see. If we are in B flat. Let's change it up here, by the way. B flat. I, I'm not sure if we are... Are we in... I think we are in major. Let's see. <laughs> Oh, B flat major. Because I. Play, what did I play with the flute type vibe? Uh, where are we? There. So that's that's a major. So I played C and D here. All right. Um, you can actually check this if you select everything. And then quantize the scale, so B flat, natural, or no, major, like so. Wait, wait a minute, what do you do? B flat, and then off. Oh, did I play? Ah, so I did something there, which is chromatic. Oh, well, let's leave it at that. I think I'm going to go with a really subtle texture for uh, a rhythmic texture with a uh, Novo here. Let's open it up and see. So if I can find... If I can find some rhythmic texture. Oops, this is way too loud. Right, so where did you, where did you go? Here. I'm gonna go with harmonies, so not the full triad even, just two notes and altering in between. An octave higher, perhaps? Where do you lack in the area of... Um, do I like here, or do I like here, or perhaps even higher? I'm gonna try in the middle here.
So if you check what I played, I just played um, um, in the B B flat major chord. I just played harmonies here, um, altering between the chord notes. Let's make sure those are like that. Oops. So change there. Should I? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this and this like so. Let's see what we have and let's listen to it. Is it in the right range, do you think? Sounds pretty sweet so far, don't you think? All right, so where to next? Let's um, let's think about this. Um, B flat. So this is the the thing with ambient music and all these uh, more simple minimalistic music is that you need to have the courage to keep things things super simple, at least harmonic wise, rhythmic wise the amounts of sounds you use, the arrangement and so on. So um, you can have lots of things going on as long as they use pretty much the same thing as these are. Basically, this is mainly B flat, that's the root, some harmonies, but not really full chords, um, super long notes, as you can see. And um, yeah, very simple arrangement. So what we could do is to keep B flat going here, even though we start here, we still we, 30 seconds in, and it's only B flat. Or we can try changing it up. So let's let's do the sketch track here. Something that's basically what I play, but super slow. Shall I go to like major second up? keep it happy or should I just if I go down a, a major second down let's see that will I think that sounds pretty s let's let's increase the strings here so I go up an octave just brainstorming here So down uh, a major second, so we go to, let's see, where are we? A flat, from B flat, or just a, a minor second down to, to A. Super, super, like all chromatic steps, it's uh, really ominous. From major to... I like that. It has a magical character, don't you think? Well, so let's do that, in fact. Let's try. I'm just going to copy this. Um... Let me think, what's the best way to do this? I'm thinking about, since it's... I'm just going to copy this and then transpose it down. And that as well. I don't know if I'm going to keep 8 bars again. Uh, on the same root note, but let's see. I'm, I'm gonna sketch at the same time now, so let's keep this going.
Let's see. What do we have? Let's add marker there. And let's keep this a bit lower. Not sure. Let's see. Where are we? Start A at everything. I'm gonna try. Let's see. I'm gonna try to add something here with the brass pads. Where are we? Okay. So let's go with something. No, 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 no. Um, let's do that again. There, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to do a change here or if I'm gonna be brave enough to keep it going. Let's see. Let's do something with... No, not that. With this one. gonna go with this let's let's keep it going let's see what we have where are we here cut it up quantize quantize uh no oops quantize to quarter notes and keep them Keep them quantized like that. And then I'm going to repeat that section. Whoops. Like so. So we keep the... And what is this? This is A. We, then we could keep this too. And just move it down. And what is this note? This is actually moving a bit. So, oh no, oh no, now I get the one of those stuck notes again. Uh, for some reason, Novo, by the way, this is not Novo, is it? Let's see, it's Forso. Uh, let's rename it. But as you can hear, it just got a stuck note. And I have no idea why it does this. Uh, I'm not playing anything. I'm using the panic button to release it. Doesn't work. If anyone has um, a solution for this, please let me know. Because I'm not sure what to do when it gets stuck like this. I'm pressing the sustain pedal if that is stuck. It does. It's not the sustain pedal. Let's go and have to deactivate it and reactivate it. See what it does. That worked at least. Let's see. We're here now. And then we go over to. I'll go to an E perhaps. Um, just above middle C. I'm 
I'm, I'm, I'm feeling I want to change the harmony somewhere. Something is going to need to change. Uh, perhaps going from A fat. Go up to the sketch track. So we have from B fat. Basically those notes and then. To G perhaps, G major. So we have. A flat, oh, um, what do I say? B flat major, A major, and then and it's uh, it's major to major, but it sounds ominous because of the half step down. All right, so then, and then to A. Ba -ba -da. I think I'm going to go, to go with the... Uh, um, what's, what's this called? A, A, G, flat 5. So I'm going to go with to the G, to the root here. Um, I think I'm going to cut it up here, basically. Like this. Remove those, and then go to... Let's see. So we have... Then what? Do, 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 do. F sharp major. Yeah, I'm gonna uh let's let's play it here up. So I'm going to I'm actually going to sketch it out right here. So I think I've got something um, with the transition here. So I'm, I'm gonna cut this up. How do I how do I cut this up? Uh, like so. So we are going to go to G here. Um, wait a minute. How long is this for? Let's do all of those because those are basically root notes. Move them down to G. So what do we have? We have this. I'm gonna... Oh no. Brass! Why? Why you do this to me always? For so. Use the force. Damn it. Alright. Uh, uh, since this is a change, I'm going to add a marker here. So we're going from A. And then to, yep, like right here. No, sorry. Wait a minute. Why? Why for so? Why? Someone, please help me solve this with for so. It's driving me insane. I'm gonna check if it's midi chase. Sometimes it's yeah, it's midi chase. Turn that off. I hate midi chase because I used to love it. Then I realized it's super buggy. 
I think it, that might be it. So we go here from... Yeah, so let's do that. Uh, three, four. Now right here. Now I'm gonna do that again. Right there, and then I'm gonna move that over and call this a shop. Major. Major. It's all in a major, but those chromatic steps and shifts really make it super ominous. Let's see what we have. I'm gonna check this one. I'm actually going to first quantize to like quarter notes and then make sure. It's quantized to length, right? And then I'm gonna check. This is a bit too loud, this is a bit too loud. I wanna want two notes playing at the same time. Looks good. So then I can cut that up right here and move those over. And what do we have here? Well, we have mark all, select all, and then down another half step. Half steps! The greatest thing if you want to add tension. Let's see, where are we? I'm gonna add. Oh, sorry about that. What did I do? I'm gonna go here, add another marker since I make it. When I make changes, I usually like to add a marker. Makes sense to me, at least. So we have that. B flat. Let's bring up this again. Go into A flat and then G. <laughs> it sounds ominous, even though we are in G major. But I actually went to G, um, G with a flat five first. That resolves here, so I'm gonna mimic that here. I, but first, let's see. What? Where did I play this range? Uh, C five, somewhere here. Okay, so. Let's go from E up here. Now I'm gonna go to the flat five. Some, let's see what we have in the movement department. So, oops, like so, I'm gonna draw something here again. Ba -da, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. Some movement, we need some movement. Did we have some expression? No, I'm gonna move that up. Of course, you can record those if you want to. Uh, let's see, did this mimic, what is did this, this do? Oh, uh, it was a high shimmering thing. Let's do that. We have a Sultasto playing. Did these mimic each other? No, uh, I don't remember. Uh, it, oh, it was the Omnisphere th track. By the way, if, if that's the case, that I'm just going to mimic it here, but move it up an octave. Like, no, not on the track. On the region. On the region, transpose. Because that then this will mimic this. But an octave above. Let's listen to how it sounds then. Hello, where did you go? Okay, so I couldn't. It goes too high. <laughs> well, let's move it down again then. Hello? 
Where are you? Is it still too high? I'm sure. How how high can this go? C six. I'm gonna I'm gonna go into the piano roll and have a look. Should go pretty high. Oh well, let's leave it at that. And then we had this, which was just like a shimmery track. Let's add that to. We are in A here. I think I can add some more movement with the notes in this shimmery department. Let's see. Again, hello. Or so you are bad again so someone please help me solve this for so problem I'm getting pretty annoyed with it to be honest I'm not using any sustain pedal it's nothing but still it's bad wonder if it's if I, when I connect the notes no all right let's record this No, 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 no. Why? Why are you there? I, I'm, I'm going to record here. Damn it. Let's see, what do we have here now? So let's quantize those. Um, no, what is this? Um, this note is wrong. Sorry about that, I've quantized two quarter notes. Obviously that's insane in this case. Where are we? We can bring Forza back again. I think we play a bit too fast here. Whoops! I'm gonna do it like that. Bit too faster as well. Let's see. I'm I'm editing at the same time as I listen, by the way. Sweet! Now we have um well, where where are we at? And by the way, this is I'm gonna zoom in. This isn't the perfect mark. Zoom out again. Or these? I, they seem to be at least. All right, so we are at almost above a minute, and it's super simple. We're keeping it simple here in the ambient vibe. Um. So where to go next? Let's let's save this for now, so we don't lose it. I think I'm going to add something from uh, Keyscape. Um, not keys in this case, but something. Uh, more like plucky. It's a Keyscape creative library. Um, loaded up this patch. 
super soft, super gentle. And I want that magical shimmering touch because of, well, because of this. I'm going to switch it over to the shimmer group. Let's see if we can add it here. Should I do like an arpeggio? Super high arpeggio. Let's see. No, it takes away too much. Something like that, perhaps. No, not that either. Uh, is this patch something that changes between? Something like, let's see. Well, let's quantize you there. Two sixteenth notes, yes. Let's add even more reverb. Let's seek you out some. Hello. Even more here in the presence thing. Let's see what what so, does it sound like in context. As you can hear, one of the main things with ambient music is no sound should like take over and be in super focus. Like, for example, vocals in pop music, um, leads in EDM, and so on. This is like a blanket. Everything is like a a C. Uh, or a mist. But I'm going to see if I can like copy this section. Let's not use the spend content connection and move it over here and have B flat again. And then this time use this like so. Draw we. So we're going from F sharp. Then we're going to go back to B flat. Sounds nice. Uh, nice. Let's do that in octave higher, in fact. Um. And let's remove the brass force over here. And I'm gonna have to introduce some more ambience instead. Let's let's go with the droner, and I'm gonna go with let's go with this. Hello. Why? Why? Is it? Can I? Can I not? The, uh, sometimes I find this peculiar that I cannot drag from a track stack with option copy down to the real track it's super annoying so then i need to do like so what i want here is um a new type of drone to introduce it i'm going to use droner from gothic instruments which looks like this and it sounds like this if it sounds at all i think we need to go up perhaps there no, like so, let's see. So the change here from thickens up the sound there, perhaps a bit too much in fact. Let's see if we can drop some of the, no, not you. 
Hello, you. I want... I want you! There. Like so. And um, drop some of the highs as well. Just one. And in fact, I'm gonna go and do something like this to really boost the shimmer on this one here. No. Which which one did I change? Not that. But in fact, let's boost the shimmer on that too. But this is the guy I'm going to change. Like so. Let's see how that sounds like. No, where are we? Five. Even more. Let's see if I can go an octave even higher. Oh yeah. Do you hear the magic? Or is it too in focus when I'm up an octave? Let's go down again. I think it was sadly a bit too in focus there. So... We're going to bring this home, like, what, what, what do I want to end with? So we go from... Back here. Gonna go straight to F sharp again. Content connection there. What did you do? What did you do, Omnisphere? Oh, it's not really. Oh, it's not really quantized here. No. Keep it! Like so. And then I'm going to switch instruments here to this flautando, I think. Um, let's see if that plays well. Where are we? No close. Mid plus, mid plus four. That's soft. That's almost too soft, in fact. Let's Move this up a bit, like so. So we go, F sharp then, B flat, and again, it's hardly any harmonic or melodic movement at all, or rhythms, we just want that This is basically the most rhythmic thing so far in this track. What, what is that clippy noise? I, I, I'm gonna check if I can get rid of that. Bye. And by the way, this is softening up the edges, so adding a um, attack there. Could it be the filter? Yep. No? Why? Why do you click for something? Let's use a high pass filter and see if it works better. What is going on? I am not sure why this is sounding so... Could it be the EQ that's over... 
No, it's not that either. I'm getting annoyed at this sound. Not sure why it, why it clips like that. Let's use a super soft setting. Am I even on the right track? What's going on here? It is this track. But did it even change? Let's move that up way, way, way high. Like so. I have no idea. I have no idea. Well, let's, let's use another one just because sound match and try similar pulsing voices. Ebode piano. Yeah, let's try that. Oops. And then we're going to uh, we need to extend this. Um ba -ba -ba. where are we? We are at F shop. Shall we go? F sharp. Perhaps to just playing something and then. Let's let's try that. So we're going from. Um, we need another marker over here. So we have seven. Go back two steps, then oh, go back one step, and then try to record. So we are in. Let's see, where are we going from there? Back to B flat, perhaps. So we have. So I'm going to split that and then suspend content connection so I can take this to, let's see, we are at A flat. Did we have A flat before? No, we went to A and here we finish at B flat again. It's going here, quantize to quarter notes, select all so we can quantize these as well. And I'm going to change that to like, what is this? Two. If that's all right. So now we can actually use this track but I'm gonna go with this first. No, let's let's do it like this. This, this, this. I think those are good. Like so, replicate. But this is going to go to.
like so, and this is going to go back like so. And then I'm going to see if we can Let's see, where are we at this stage? B flat. And then we go to F sharp. So let's cut that up there. F sharp. And then to A flat, B flat. Replicate. So A flat. Then B flat. Where do we have it? B flat. Why can't I see cobalt tracks there? B flat, F sharp. I want to see the note names as well. F sharp, A flat, B flat. Okay. Um, and then I'm gonna take those. And actually, just. Look it over here so I can choose some of those notes for brass force and in fact let's finish off with some string pads from Novo instead. Let's see if that behaves better. Um let's see what we have here. Yeah, let's finish off off, off uh, some like super divine note here, so but we are not going to use So let's see if we can keep it like so. Oh man, are you are you the same, Novo? Are you the same? I'm gonna, I don't want to have too many notes at the same time. Yeah, as you can hear. Novo is the same. Super, super annoying. Uh, I feel that this is a bug. So let's uh, actually reduce that by quite a lot. Then go in here, add some modulation as well. I think they have some modulation aspects. Like so. I think I'm going to reduce it quite a bit more. And of course, we're not going to use this up here. And um, I'm going to do like that. Um, let's mute it just so it doesn't play. And then see, should we do something with the... Something other playing the harmonies? Perhaps some ambient voices. From Omnisphere? How does those sound? But... Like... Oops, Command J to do like that, let's see. I'm not I'm not sure about this. Let's move it down. Let's listen in context. No, I'm not liking it. Let's see if Omnisphere has something um, with sound matcher. Women swells. Much better. Much better. Those swells and orcs are amazing at adding that movement that we really need for this. I think I can remove that track now and uh, let's see if we can do something on Flatando here. Or Sultasto, perhaps? Up here. In fact, let's use both. Mm -hmm. 
What did we play? I forgot what we played here. Damn it, I'm gonna go back and see. It was an A-flat major. Okay, so let's leave at that for visual reference. And I'm going to play... Um, on this instead. Okay, okay, let's do it. No! Wrong again. I'm not liking it. I'm not liking it. Let's see if we can do something. Yeah, let's do that instead. No, 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 no. Right, so it sounded super distorted and crazy there. I'm not going to use it. Um, I'm, I'm gonna try something else. Let's copy it over here to the Celeste, perhaps. By the way, let's first quantize it. Celeste, <laughs> the very name sounds uh, divine. Okay, so it's, it's way too loud, but I'm going to use this super big, massive, epic reverb. And I'm going to try mimic this with the Sultas to see, let's see if it can play this. What is the reverb on this? Made in four. And how did I? Sounds a bit too. I need some reverb. More reverb. Some whole reverb, perhaps. Let's see. Better. Let's see. Let's uh, copy that as well, so we can get something. How how high can this play? Okay, not that high. And why is this here? I need it higher. And that as well. Whoops. Something like that. Like that. So then, copy it over. And, Brass, Forza, you're not going to be here today. Let's see, Keyscape Creative. Should I just... I'm not understanding why it sounds so distorted now. Okay, so I did that arpeggio. Let's see, zoom out, please. So I can see the project. Where are we at? This is the final. 
marker eight, marker nine. Just adding one there. I'm gonna I'm gonna end the the queue here. I think uh, with the B flat again. Just going home. I'm probably actually going to end with the only like full chord. No, 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 Bo. Shut up. Um, or perhaps even women. Let's see, what do we have? Like ending on the chord right there. So I'm not going to do like that. Let's see how that sounds. Oh, where are you? Eight. Wait a minute. What did you do? Oh, how do I, how do I merge? Okay. So now are you merged now? Yeah. And then just going higher. Just to finish on, on that. Okay, so, what? Can't you sing higher than that? And I'm going to go with a crescendo for it as well. So we're starting here. So like we like that, and then go down. Let's see how that sounds. Awesome. Even even more reverb. We like huge reverb on these kinds of tracks. Um let's close that screen set. Where are we at now? Where are we at? I'm gonna listen to the finishing point here. Nope, to to way 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 it must fade in, and perhaps it's also way too loud. No, oh man man, I hate that you cannot uh, undo in, in the in the mixer. So this is too loud. Firstly, and I'm gonna reduce so it starts really low. Starting to crescendo, and then go, comes back down, um, like so. Let's listen to. So it fades in here. Let's see here. And I'm going to. Am I going to do something else? Let's see. No, I don't think so. I think I'm going to leave it at that. I might do some tweaks, but that is my ambient music composition that I basically created from scratch here on this video to hopefully inspire you and give you some ideas to create your own ambient and relaxing music like this. So I hope you will do some amazing music and I will see you in the next video, my friends.